Hello everyone, and welcome back. It's time for some more of this Dark Souls 3 Cinders mod. My god, last time I played this, I was getting cucked left and right by every boss we came across. Mostly this frickin' boss here. Those dang deacons of the dick. We're gonna take them on today for sure. And we're gonna use a mechanic that I completely forgot to do. Even, you know, we're playing the game in offline mode, so I didn't really think about it, but... We can totally summon NPC helpers! What the fuck have I been doing? I already played this whole game solo. Why torture myself and not summon homies if I feel like it? So we're going to do that. But before I do that, uh, I was looking around around here off screen. Not just here, but I did a bunch of stuff off screen we're going to talk about in a second. But I was looking over here and I was like, oh shit. Oh fuck. I got intruded by Orthol. Orthol, who are you? Well, hold on. We got to fight Orthol. Hi, Orthol. Holy Orthol. Fuck you, Orthol. Holy shit, dude. That must be because I'm un... un uh, I'm embered or whatever. Holy shit, dude. Who the fuck summoned that guy? Anyway, we got some hollowed knight armor. Sick. Who the fuck invited him? What an asshole. He interrupted my intro. What a dick. Yeah, dude, if I could summon Bahamut to help me, I totally would. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I walked over here last time, and this guy was not standing here. He's here now. Let's talk to my homie. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane, Knight of Katarina. To track down this oh, this isn't like him. I know who this is. I'm in quite a pickle. Hmm. It's this is not this is not hmm. It's not him. It's a guy impersonating him, and we're gonna have to deal with it right now. Well, I know. I know. Treasure is tempting. Well, so if I try to cross here, I think he fucks you over, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I remembered. Also, when it goes into cutscene mode, we get to see this. Shame on you, you greedy guts. That's not what you said. It says insatiable wench, liar. Anyway, it's patches, y'all. Did they add any patches to this mod? But um I already murdered the giant, so fuck you, buddy. You think you're so fucking funny, don't you? Fucking patches, man. Lucky for me, I already dealt with this shit. Wait, stop invading me, random people. Kirk, leave me alone, I'm busy. Fucking Kirk. I already murdered the giant. Fuck off, patches. Haha. -ha. All right, let's fight this guy, I guess. Hold on. Trying to murder this motherfucking little bastard, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I don't know why Longfinger Kirk is just standing there, but let's fuck him up. He don't want none of my bloodthirsty fucking throwing knives. No, he don't. Alright. Let's, uh, shake it a little bacon. Woo! Well, I don't want to be careful. I want to be careful. Spin to win! Oh, I missed. Spin to win! Oh! Spin to win! Oh, damn, get fucked, Kirk. Anyway, I got a spiky shield and a barb straight sword. Nice. Man, as soon as I freaking go ember mode in this area, all of a sudden I'm getting jumped by every goddamn NPC summon in the history of invading bullshit. I didn't even know this was going to happen. I honestly thought I was just going to just come in here and see the patches thing. And here we are getting invaded twice by NPC bitches. Cool. Um, we haven't even talked about the fact that I'm using this weapon again. Remember this weapon? Remember all the work I put into... Or the work I've been putting in to use this weapon properly? Well, I did a little work off screen. And I got me up to the high enough level to use this weapon proper. So from now on, we have level... Let's go ahead and just look at the stats. Why not? I have level 20 strength, 20 dex, 20 intelligence, 20 faith. I believe the only stat I didn't have to 20 last time... Uh, was actually faith. So now all my stats are 20. You'll probably also notice with my stats that my vitality has gone up greatly. I believe my vitality was like level 10 still or something. I really needed defense and I wanted some more equipment load along with that. So I decided I was going to pour a bunch of points into that. And so I have been. And I think that's all I did off screen, at least in terms of leveling. I, I don't think I did any endurance or HP level ups or anything like that. Um, it's all been mostly, you know, to get 
be able to use this staff properly. Using this staff properly has been one of my main priorities in this playthrough, and now, and now it's a thing. NPC invaders are easy in this game. I mean, they're easy when you're as savage as I am, Terra. But yeah. Dude, I'm getting invaded again? How many invaders are in this place? Back off, homie. Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow, I kind of kicked his ass, but... Motherfucker hit me with that spin to win of his own. I wasn't expecting that. Well then, I guess we'll have to go pick up my shit. Getting invaded left and right right now, man. Making me waste all my embers. I'm over here trying to do a summon so I can do a boss fight or whatever. And y'all are making me waste my embers. Assholes. That's alright, I can go buy some more embers from the lady back in... Uh, what's it called? Back in the what's it called, you know. You know where the what's it called is. Anyway, I'm excited about this setup with this with this weapon because on the Deacons of the Deep, spin to win is a good strat. Problem is my spin to win strat wasn't working because I wasn't using proper weapons for me to do spin to win proper, you know what I mean? But now we can do it. Oh, also, I'm invisible, so he they can't see me right now. I'm still wearing the Inviso mode uh, outfits. I was just thinking, like, how come these fuckers aren't attacking me? It's because they can't see me, bitch. Anyway. They're the Ember Island players. Pretty much. Anyway. All right, let's try to beat this guy this time. I can beat him. Ow. If I could move. Jesus. This fucker coming in hot. I think this is a like a NPC where you can't even see what weapon he's wielding. This must be a special um, mod, like for the Cinder's mod NPC. He poisoned me. What a dick! How dare you? Wow, poison is terrible. Jesus, I'm gonna die from poison. Anyway, I got the Sanctum Knight outfits. That's cool. Yeah, he was definitely a a, a mod. Uh, Cinder's mod uh, NPC uh, invader. Sorry, I'm gonna read your thing in a second, Glue Prop. But welcome in, welcome in. I just want poison to wear off. That's all I want. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Don't kill me. Thank you. All right, let's go back to the dang thing. I'm gonna use these souls. I already have enough for almost another level up. I think just from killing all these dang invaders, which I wasn't expecting. We need to walk around Embered more often. There's a lot more invaders I probably missed earlier in the game because I've been walking around as a, you know, unembered bitch. This looks like if Vector Man was in Dark Souls 3. What, me walking around like it, like invisible with this shininess on me? But anyway, Glee Prog, welcome in. What is this about? This is Dark Souls 3 Cinder's mod. So basically, this mod... Uh, Adds in a whole bunch of stuff and changes a lot of game mechanics to be a lot more... I won't say a lot more playable because Dark Souls 3 is pretty fun already on its own. But they added in a lot of small little mechanical things that change up a lot of things. How stats work, how your equipment like works when you upgrade it. All the different equipment has different stats on it now. Uh, they make it so your magic regenerates over time instead of having to use an Ash and Estus Blast. So check this out. I thought I'll just throw fireballs. And then watch my magic just refill on its own. It's pretty epic. I enjoy it immensely. Also, this weapon I'm using, brand new weapon. It's basically the Staff of the Monkey King because it's awesome. Um, basically, there's just a whole bunch of enhancements to the game, and it's pretty freaking fun. I've had a blast with it so far. Um, some stuff is harder, like certain bosses and such, so we're dealing with that right now. Right now, I'm going through, and I'm about to fight the Deacons of the Deep, which are actually much tougher than they used to be. You need to get a PC. Uh, well, if you want to use this mod, you definitely do. Uh, did I already sit down? I did, but I needed like 3,000 more souls. You know what? Let's go kill some dudes. I can get 3,000 more souls. That can be done. There are dudes up here. Let's kill them. Or down here, rather. Let's kill them again. I needed a 20, like 30, it was, it was like 22,000, right? It was like 22,000 something I needed. So let's get my numbers back up to that real quick. Let's practice my spin to win techniques hell yeah see now that i have proper stats for this weapon my attacks kick fucking ass with it it's not just 
awesome to wield, now it actually does the damage to match my, you know, match my awesomeness. I'm hyped about it. I don't really want to kill this night guy. If I, I mean, I will if I have to, but I don't want to. Spin to win. Oh, what? I don't know why the second spin whist. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's coming right for us. Oh, God. Yeah, I really wanted to up my vitality, though, because my defense was garbage. And, you know, regardless of whatever armor I'm wearing, I was just getting wrecked by everything. And, like, like this guy was probably going to... He probably would have just killed me in two hits. Instead, it took him three. <laughs> because I apparently forgot how to dodge. Good Lord. You'll have to forgive me. I'm warming up, okay? I haven't played this in a couple weeks. I'm actually kind of sad because I just wasted another ember. Son of a bitch. All in the name of getting goddamn souls. Fuck my life. Oh, God! I almost I almost fell. I almost did it. I almost did it. Almost did it. To quote Steely Dan, they call Alabama the Crimson Tide. Call me Deacon Blues. I don't know the line. I'm not a Steely Dan fan, though, to be fair. Maybe I do know the song, but I don't know it by those lines you just sh shared with me, sir. Alright. Uh, I was gonna say, you gonna give me souls, dude? What the fuck? Boy, better give me them souls. You don't know where I am. Stop chasing me. Oh, hi, Zero Stein. I'm glad you came in hot with that hot take. <laughs> okay. I need like 2,000 more souls or so. I would love to kill this guy, but Jesus, I'm scaled. Why can't I dodge properly, dude? Why do, why do I suck? Why do I suck? Holy balls. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't you kill me. Don't you kill me. Ah. Ah. I got him. How much does he give me? 550 and a chirping stone. Okay. Speaking of those stones, we need to go back to the 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 fucking firelink shrine and use those stones on that nest above my above there and see what the hell those, you know, so soft, so smooth and silky gives you cuz I want to know what they give you, man. I want to know. I want to know. Want them to show me. Want me to know how to go get some shit. I'm going to kill this guy too, I guess. Damn, get fucking wrecked, homie. He doesn't even know where I is. He don't even know where I is. Are you ready for some soul arrow, bitch? That's what you call the spam kill. Fuck you. Got him. Got him. Okay. Oh, I'm not even... That's not even enough, man. I'm still short by, like, by like a couple hundred. Lame sauce, dude. Lame fucking sauce. Why are y'all so lame, bro? When you first learned the word pew, you thought someone was messing with you. It sounded too silly. Like pew pew. Like the laser going pew pew, as RPG fan said. Is it... Was it... It was too silly for you? Can I just kill... Like, okay, you know what? It's actually fine, because... I need to get my embers back anyways. But still, I want to get the level up, the whole point. I, I got to stop going back and forth here so I can get my dang level up. And I'm probably just going to do it on Vitality anyways. But, you know, I don't want it to go to waste by losing to the boss over and over again, you know? Curse gem. Woot. All right, I think I'm just shy by probably like a couple hundred. So let's just kill these guys. Make sure we have enough, you know? Look at this guy just over here swinging his shit, hoping for, hoping for the best, with a measurable hope. Oh fuck! I didn't realize he was coming right for us, bruh. You don't know where I am. Fuck off. 
Wow, why is that guy not dying one hit? That's lame. It's because my magic isn't very strong. I think I have enough, but let me make sure by killing these two guys real quick. Spin to win, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cheer. Oh, you know what else I did? I did another thing with my weapon as well. I'm pretty sure I put a gem on it. In fact, I think I put gems on a bunch of my stuff now that I think about it. I put a gem in, like, all of my weapons and stuff because apparently all the different, like, gems and stuff you can put on your weapons and armor are very fucking helpful. They give you a lot of extra things. In fact, I think I did that off screen, or at least I was going to. But I think I did do it. Let me check in a second. Let me do a level up real quick. Ah, I'm short by a fucking 120. Are you fucking butt-fucking me, bro? You butt-fucking me, bro? I didn't realize it was 22.9. I thought it was like 22.4 something. Son of a bitch. This is a waste of my fucking life right now. Can I just have enough for a level up, bro? That's all I ask for. Bro. I've also been trying to cycle through different covenants so I can, uh, you know, basically level them all, max them all out to get their maximum usages out of them. Right now I'm back on the rat one that I was on before. As you can tell by the rat tails that I'm picking up. I got to double check, like, I got a couple other covenants off screen, I think, too, by talking to some people who I had not picked up their covenant from for some reason. I just missed talking to them or just didn't pick up the covenant for whatever reason. Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go defense here. Getting that equip load to 60 would be great. I mean, obviously, endurance, attunement, vigor, all great. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with, with that vitality bump until I get it to 20. Just get it to 20. Repair equipment. Uh, attune spell. No, I don't have another slot yet. Um, I think we're good right now. Let me... Uh, let me check out my equipment situation real quick, because I want to see what other things I put on my stuff. Yeah, see, I have the... I put stuff on, like, everything. So, like, I made my pho my phosphorescent pole is now a lethal phosphorescent pole, which basically just means uh, I made it so, if you see down there, it has attribute bonuses for strength and dex that are B. So the more strength and dex I pour into this weapon now, it will be better. Um, in fact, I don't even need the faith and intelligence for this weapon anymore. Um, to give me an extra boost. I mostly just want to boost up the uh, strength and dex now from now on for this weapon in particular. So that's how that's going to go. You also notice I upgraded my grass crest shield to have, be of a grass crest shield of respite. I forget what that actually did. Oops, I didn't mean to unequip it. Oops, 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 oops. Oopsie doopsie. I was trying to look at its things. I want to look at its things. How do I look at its things? I guess I have to go into this menu. Uh, I forget what it does if it's of respite. I forget. I, we'll have to go back and talk to Andre to see what these th extra things do. But yeah, my, my pyromancy flame is now a quivering pyromancy flame. And my throbbing staff is a source, or rather, it's a sorcerer's staff with throbbing. It's a throbbing sorcerer's staff now. So those are all new uh, upgrades I did to my shit. So that's all things I just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of. And um, yeah. Other than that, the only other thing I plan to do now is uh, summon some NPCs. So let's get my Ember back on. I'm literally going to have to go buy some now because I have one left. And we're going to summon some help for this Deacon of the Deep fight because fuck this fight. It pissed me off enough times already. Let's just do it. So I'm pretty sure when I was looking around here off screen... I discovered there was three, count them, three summon signs. So we're going to summon three homies. Hell yeah. Did I ever go over here on, like, and get whatever was over here? Is there anything over here? There might have been a chest over here I already got with, like, a, uh, a mimic or whatever. But anyway, where are these NPC homies? There's one. Got them. We're going to summon Henri of Astora. You're coming. We're going in. Henri. I'm pretty sure I could summon three guys, right? As long as they're NPC summons. I'm pretty sure you can do three, right? We're going to summon Horus the Hushed. Because Horus is a savage who doesn't even need to speak.
Hell fucking yeah. All right. And then, last but not least, I believe there's another one down here somewhere. This is the one that made me realize there is another, like, that there was summoning. At least I think it was here. Or maybe, you know what? You know when I noticed the summoning thing? It's when I was over by, um, oh, I know what happened. So, uh, was there not a third one? Or maybe I can only summon two. Maybe I can only summon two homies, not three. I was thinking you could summon three, though. Yeah, I guess three. It's only two. Because I think there is a third one here, but it's not showing up for me right now. So you must only get to summon two. That's fine. Two will be plenty for this, I would hope. But what I was going to say is, one other thing I did off screen, is I went back and I refought Vort of the Boreal Valley. Just to see how it works when you refight a boss. They do give you their soul again when you kill them. And the same soul drop for killing them again. So you can grind out bosses if you want, which is pretty cool. I thought that's a pretty cool addition to this uh, mod is that you can refight bosses for their stuff. So if you need to get another soul to get another upgrade or, you know, to turn it in for a weapon or something from the guy who needs boss souls, you can do that. You can get multiple souls in the same playthrough. It's pretty sick. Um, I'll have to show that off, especially if there's something I want from the guy where you need to get two more than one, you know? Anyway, we're going straight for it. Here we go. We got homies. Let's go for it. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I wanted to do some spin to win action, but now I'm already getting flamed on, son. Maybe I should just not even bother with the spin to win. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize. Oh, shit, dude. I didn't realize the uh, the shield guys were right there. Why am I not doing side swipes? I'm trying to do spin to win. I'm trying to do spin to wins, y'all. Especially if I could kill one of these night guys. Remember, these night guys are the reason why this is so difficult. If I could get rid of them, that'd be super. Hell yeah. All right, one night dude is down, y'all. One night dude is down. That is incredible. I don't even know where the main guy's at right now, and I don't even care. Because right now, we are sitting pretty. Alright. Did we not get any damage on the deacon there? Wow, are they really... Are they really nerfing me right now? Like that hard? Oh, shit. I want to get rid of this other knight guy more than anything. Once he's dead, this fight can be done by myself. Hell yeah. All right. Now this fight is my bitch. We got rid of the night dudes. It's over. All right. There we go. All right. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good. Gotta watch out for these fireballs hitting me in the ass. Hell yeah, dude. It seems like the NPC homies are pretty strong too, which is nice. Looking real nice. Alright. Spin to win! Hell yeah. Alright, are we on phase two now? I think we are. Man, the NPC homies are definitely stronger because they are helping immensely. I'm just going to sip real quick just to keep myself safe. Just to be a safe guy. Dude, they are helping so much. It's crazy. My spin to win techniques are the bomb. Back up. Take a sip. Don't get cursed. Fat boy, you better fucking recognize, homie. Woo! Spin to win. Just give me the spin to win, dude. That's all you need. 
That's all you need. It's all you need, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, NPC homies. You were the tits. Anyway, we got the tome for the deacons. We got a small doll, which I think is what our actual prize usually is when you beat this boss. And we got the deacons of the deep soul, of course. There you go. And that is why we summon, my friends. That is why we summon. So we don't have to deal with some shit like that. The biggest difference there was I got to take out the two knights. Those two knights were really the biggest key to me losing over and over again at this fight. <sighs> Let's double check what that doll does, though, because I do not recall what the hell that doll does. Silverwork doll depend depicting a young squire. Also, I didn't hear the Barrett victory sound. Hello? Did it not play? Why, why didn't it play? Why did not it play? I don't know why it didn't play the fuck are my sounds not enabled that's odd huh it's very odd i don't know about i don't know why the sound alert didn't work that's very strange there it is it was hella late but there it is <laughs> there it is i don't know why it was so late but i'm glad it still played that's good Especially since you spent points on it. I didn't want to have... I, didn't, I felt bad if you use points on one of those and it doesn't work, you know? But anywho, we start off today strong. We beat a boss. All right. <laughs> Barrett was a little winded. He just needed to catch his breath. Something like that, I'm sure. All right. So anyway, again, that, was, that boss pissed me off last time. I thought about it, and once I realized you could summon, and I was like, oh, fuck. You can summon. I can just summon help. Why don't I just summon help? So that's exactly what we just did. Fucking awesome. Motherfucker, that's awesome. All right. So besides that, we did have another boss here. And it's the cathedral. What the fuck is he called? The cathedral. He was like the cathedral guard. I forget what his name was. But yeah. Um, What is he? Is he nearby this one? I kind of want to fight him again. I hate to waste my ember, though. I'm wondering if I can summon for him, though. I'm going to look around where he's at and see if there's any summons. I think it's over here. Yeah, 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 over here. Y'all motherfuckers going to get fucked up. Give me your shit. Crooning stone. We're definitely going to go and do something with these stones. Hello and goodbye. Touchdown, turn around. I never see you around. Get fucked with my fireball. You are who I'm looking for. <laughs> anyway. The question is, are there summons by this boss? If not, I might just go fight the other boss. The, meaning the Watchers. Uh, the Abyss Watchers. Just because I have my Ember right now and I'd rather not lose my Ember. Before I, you know, losing to this guy real quick. You know what I mean? So yeah, before I fight this guy again, which I do want to, I do plan to beat this guy. I want to beat him. I want to see if we get a cool reward for beating him. Um, I'm gonna come back to him though. He'll be here. So yeah, I'm gonna work my way over to the Abyss Watchers right quick, and uh, I'll basically show you how I grinded out my souls actually, because I basically just was over by the Abyss Watchers and grinded out souls over there for a while. So let's get over to uh, the Farron area. I think it's this one, Farron Keep Perimeter, I want to say. Speaking of this area, I think I have to finish exploring this area as well. I did not do this on screen, so I need to do that as well. I missed a stimulating conversation about kneelers. Did I? Shit, hold on. I probably did while I was fighting. The kneelers are attached to the pew in front of yours, and you just pull it down when it's time to kneel. This is probably the first time anyone's ever discussed kneelers in a stream chat. Last time I went to church, the kneelers weren't cushioned. Lame. There definitely are churches out there that don't have cushioned kneelers, and that sounds painful. Pretty lame. Right, that makes sense. Last time I remember kneeling in church, which was over 20 years ago, I remember just kneeling on the ground. <laughs> yeah. That sounds pretty uncomfortable, gotta say. 
Yeah, sorry, I missed that while I was fighting the boss, but, you know, now we're caught up. Also, here's a summon. If you want to summon in this area, here you go. We got the Londor Pale Shade. I actually might just summon that bitch right now, just to have a, just to have a homie. Why not? Also, there's a treasure chest right there. Did I get that treasure chest? Man, I always have to check them again, because I never know. I never know, because I'm... The, the treasure chest in this game, in this mod, if it, if it's not a like a treasure chest that's usually there, or if it's not a freaking mimic, it resets. It's an Estus shard. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, I got a freaking. It's an Estus shard, and it's a. Okay, well, you know what? I'm sorry, Londor Pale Shade. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I have to desummon him. Well, whatever. I'll go till I die then. Fuck it. Or until he goes away, which means I have to beat the Abyss Watchers. Bitch! Fuck out of here. Oh shit, this bitch got magic though. Okay, I like it. I like it. Bitch. Ho! Bitch. Ho! Also, watch out! Don't you fuck my homie up. I'll fuck you up first. Oh god. Kill it. Okay. I got a little bit YOLO-ish there, but we got him. This is why homies are awesome. Hell yeah. I thought I killed the guys over here already, though, didn't I? Anyway. You know when actors have to put that green suit on with little balls on markers off for mocap? You look like one of those guys. I do kind of look like one of those guys, DJ. <laughs> I look like a mocap, dude. Remember the character mocap from Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance? Was there a character called mocap? Was that his name? I haven't played Deadly Alliance in so long. That was the last Mortal Kombat... The last new Mortal Kombat game I played. I haven't played a new one since that one. Wasn't there a SNES fighting game called Balls? I think you are correct, RPG fan. I think you are correct. Also, I have not gone this way because this is a shortcut that I haven't opened. Oh. Oh, it's this shortcut. Okay, I know where I am. Cool. Okay, I'm glad I opened that. Now it's there. The first thing that came to mind when you saw my character was a badly decorated Christmas tree or something. I mean, that is what it is. Basically, well, it's not a Christmas tree thing. It's more so that they, they put all those little, um, you know, those things you can drop in the game to, like, light, uh, to, like, make a path so you remember your way. I forget what they're called, but it's basically a bunch of those just stuck all over my body. Did I ever go down here? I don't remember dropping down here. I may or may not have. Oh, I definitely did not. There's an item here. Beast Claw. Ooh, that could be cool. Is my tip, is my Pale Shade friend stuck up there? Can't come help me? Like, what the hell, man? Oh, man, I have to go through this area. I don't want to go through this area. I just want to go back to where I was. Prism Stones. That is what they were called. That's the, that's the name. <laughs> oh, it's those fucking eyeball guys. That's that sound. I know that sound anywhere. I don't see them though. Where that? Where are they? Well, there's one over there. I don't think I. I don't think I explored over here, guys. I think this 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 particular direction I never went. Mostly because this swamp sucks ass. Also, another freaking intruder. Fuck out of here, yellow finger Hazel. You don't want none, Mr. Chef Hat bitch. Oh, that's the Xanthius crown. I got that shit. Hell yeah. And I got Hazel's pick, which is new. Also, these guys can't see me. Heh <laughs> heh. Sucks to be you. Key up. Are you the only one that thinks I look like Vector Man? I mean, if you say it enough times, somebody else will agree with you. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. But seriously. I, 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 I can I, I can see it a little bit, but not like I guess because I'm not green, that's why I don't see it like as vividly as maybe you do. I'm actually gonna go ahead and explore over here. Because I don't think I did. I don't think I did anyways. I don't think I went down here, because I don't think I killed any of these guys. I might have went up here. I just don't remember killing any of those dudes. Also, there is nowhere to stand over here. Do not get poisoned. Or is there? Is 
Londor Pale Shade intrudes. Is that what it said? Ah, ah, ah. Did it say the Londor Pale Shade intrudes? I thought I already have the Londor Pale Shade as a homie right now. Am I, am I mistaken? All that's missing from my outfit is the tinsel and popcorn balls. Ooh, popcorn. Mm, I'm hungry. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. <laughs> I had to work all the way up until basically after five o'clock today, so I just barely like I just I literally stopped working and started playing. That's literally what happened. So, I haven't eaten shit since about, I don't know, noon. And I wouldn't even say I ate a lot at noon. I only ate a little bit. So I'm a little hungry already. Luckily, it is Friday, so I won't be streaming for super long. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta remember, I can be standing back doing magic when I have homies. They can do all the hard work, and I can just stand back and pop fools. That's the beautiest, the beautiest as part. Also, shit, a poison. Shit, a poison. I wasn't paying attention to my poison meter. Oopsies. That wasn't very wise. Give me that fire jam, bitch. Keep an eye on that HP right now. I haven't been in here either. God damn. What do we have? Crown of dusk, antiquated dress. Also, shit. What are you doing? No! These guys spawned after I paired the chest, assholes. No! I got cursed! Son of a biscuit eating bitch ass. I got cursed. Mother fuck you. That makes me salty. Man, I yay yay. Ay yay yay yay. Well, I was going to go back and get my Estus shard, but now I'm not going to because I want to go down here and get my shit back. And maybe get whatever else is in this fucking cave over here. But see this chest reset, which is annoying. But I already got what was in it. I didn't even get to see what I got. I got like a crown and a I basically got a whole outfit. Ha, ha look at these bitches can't even see me. These motherfuckers can't even see me. Idiots. You're gonna eat for my sake, Toast? Thank you. Eat eat because I can't. Yeah, let me finish what I was saying about eating. Uh I'm gonna order some fucking food because I'm a little I was hella salty today about not being able to like basically take much of a break to make some fucking food for myself. So you know what? I'm going to order some fucking food, probably at the end of the stream, so I'll have it for when the stream is over. That'll be my plan. Moss fruit. Okay, cool. Is this a fucking real chest? Please let it be real. I don't want to fight a fucking mimic. Thank you. Heavenly Braille Divine Tome. Okay, so that's another tome for some more spells. Good shit. Good shit, good shit. Anyway, this also reminds you of a more colorful version of the Gear Streamer boss from Castlevania Bloodlines. Yet another reference I'm going to not remember because I haven't played Bloodlines in a long while. Monster make ya. Might as well shake what your mama gave ya. Hey, Ali, thank you for the freaking nine month resub. We just had ourselves a baby. A sub baby. Baby. But yeah, thank you for that, man. Appreciate it, Allie. Appreciate it. You the fucking man. <laughs> What's the baby's name? I mean, we gotta we gotta come up with that together, isn't that how it works? <laughs> you see. If only you were only the heir of Slytherin, then you could order these basilisks around with parcel tongue. True fucking that. I'd be over here like, ah, and they would fucking be like, yo, we do your bidding. Also, shit. Holy shit, I almost died. I did not want to die there. That would have been a dumb, da dumb, dumb death because I didn't dual wield or whatever you want to call it, two hand my weapon. <sighs> if I wouldn't have, if I would have two-handed my weapon, I would have been fine. But my dumbass walked in unpreparado. He definitely hit me with that teabag attack for sure. 
That tea bag. Did I get what was over here? No. Hell yeah. I didn't know there was something actually there, but it just felt like there would be. Also, I'm lost. How do I get back to where I was at before I fucking, you know, got lost? I just wanted to... I just wanted to get out of here, man. I'm not even supposed to be here today. But in all seriousness, I just wanted to get back to the fucking keep. That's all I wanted. That's all I ever wanted. But this side is just like a fucking pit of nothing. I can't even get anywhere. Right? Like, I tried. Where else can I go? I need to get back up there. Over there. Anyway, they remind you a bit of the Garden of Eyes enemies from Bloodborne, the fly-like enemies in Bergenworth that draw. Oh yeah, 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 they are. They are kind of like those guys. Yeah, yeah, I remember them. Pieces of garbage. Oh shit, there's one of those big dudes there. I didn't even see him. Shows you how much I'm paying the fucking attention. Okay. Yeah, like this doesn't lead me the fuck out of here. Like back up to where I can get out of here, man. Because that's all I want. Also, what's up, Donko? Welcome in today. How you doing? I think this is my... Yep, yeah, here we are. I found it. I found my bitch. I found my bitch, y'all. I found it. This is what I was looking for. The door back over here where, we, where I was fucking, you know... Not quite dead yet. Also, hi. Hi, friendo. Aren't you the funnest friendo in the history of friendos? These guys are fucking dangerous. You gotta be very careful with them. Let them go in there and do their thing, you know? Let them go in there, do their thing, and get you some extra free souls, you know what I'm saying? They're real good at that. Getting you them extra souls so you don't have to. As much as you hate Poison Areas and other two Dark Souls games, think you think Fair and Keep is the worst? Um, I definitely hate uh, uh, um, the bottom area of what's it called in the first game. On your way to fight Key Lag. That area, Blight Town, the bottom area of the Blight Town. I definitely hate that area, but it's not as big as Fair and Keep is. So I have to say, Fair and Keep is probably worse. Even if Blight Town is a blight in the history of all the things and created in the history of everything. All right. Anyway, let's travel back to Firelink. Main reason being, get that Estus Flask up upgrade. In fact, that gives me an extra Estus Flask in general. I'm pretty sure pretty darn sure in fact so let's do that real quick I'm trying to think what i can spend these 30k souls on should i just do another level up i probably should get my vitality uh, to 20 wasn't honestly is there any game where you remember fondly of a swamp area i mean xenoblade chronicles one satoro marsh it's one of the most beautiful places in the whole game does that count? I'm sure there's another uh, uh, example out there. But anyway, if you look at the, the different infusions you could do to your weapons, uh, I think I said I put the lethal on my weapon. So basically my stamina consumption is cut by 15%. I think that's what my weapon is right now. It's the lethal version. Um... I put the respite on my shield, so man, my equipment maximum equipment level goes up by 10% just by having my shield on, so that's nice. And then I up, I made my, I think I made my, um, my hand a pulsating fire, you know, fire hand or whatever, so my FP recovery is, is higher. And then I think my staff is throbbing, which means FP cost is less, so I can cast it even more times before it has to refill. So there you go. Um, yeah, that's the things that I did when I upgraded my weapons and such. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that off and explain what I did to my weapons and stuff off screen. 
Um, I think that's all Pretty I wanted to do. Pretty be careful. Now, I got some stuff, some tomes specifically. Let's see who can handle these tomes. Also, can I upgrade this? Do I have enough rat tails yet? I do. I do not. I don't have 50 rat tails yet. What? 50 rat tails? I don't have 50. I just got a bunch today. I only have 32. Okay. 18 more then. All right. Back again. I All right. What do you do? Sorcery scroll. I have one of those. Oh Here. My. Have a golden it's scroll. Even... Teach me things. Okay. So he has some new shit now. Okay. I don't even remember what spells I have. I have soul arrow. I have this one. Right? Wait. Slot use. We have one of those. Okay. Fair and flash sword, soul great sword, homeling. Yeah, I've already seen all these. Do I want any of these motherfucking things? Scattering soul orb, blinding light, twisted wall of light, oral decoy repair, magic weapon, hidden weapon, shield, spook, hidden body, cast light. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really want any of those, to be honest. Is there any fire moves that I want from this guy? <laughs> Wait, he has a covenant? I don't even remember what covenant his was. Uh, flame fan, great combustion. I already bought that. Yeah, he doesn't have anything new. I think I bought all the ones I already wanted from him. You know what I want to do, though? I want to show you guys what we get with boss souls because I think that was the thing I wanted to buy. I was like, yo, let me do this on screen. What I don't remember is it who wants the braille tomes? Is it the bitch over here? I thought she wants, like, bone dust or whatever. Ah. Maybe she does want the tomes. No. You saw anything that I want, though? Not really. Ashen one. I don't remember who wants the braille tomes, or do I not have the person here yet? <gasps> Speaking of people here, is Patches here? That son of a bitch. Or do I have to go back to the cathedral and find him there first? Anyway, Quilshrew Marsh from the Messenger was actually pretty cool, too. If we go back to our Marsh conversation. Uh, the Death Marshes in Turok 2. I've never played a Turok game, so I don't have an opinion on that one. Uh, sure, but like for a Marsh Swamp, it doesn't really have... It doesn't really have all the mud, watery stuff, just some quicksand. Oh, we're talking about the Quilshrew Marsh. Rayman Legends has your favorite water level in any game. It has a world that's based around a mixture of water and stealth, which sounds like a terrible combination with swim mechanics, but level design make it one of the highlights of the game. I will uh, keep that in mind if I ever get around to playing Rayman Legends someday. You always remember the Marsh Swamp of FF9 because of the music. You like the Boggy Swamp and Jack and Daxter as well, even though it can be annoying. Um, I don't remember thinking fondly of the uh, Jack and Daxter swamp. The swamp in FF9 is okay. I, I do remember it mostly because of the music as well. It has very memorable that doom, 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 doom. Very, very iconic music at the, the Q's Marsh. Anyway, I'm up here to give the silky and smooth. Pickle pee, pickle rum pum rum pum pum. I got items for your for your bum bum bum. Wait, how do I... Do I just go into my inventory and drop that shit? I forget how this works. I have a shit ton of these things, though, for real. Uh... Uh... Wait, what? Where are they? Hello? Are they under somewhere else? Oh, they're here. Yeah, exchange with the nestling and top filing shrine. Leave it. Just leave one. Okay. Hidden blessing. Okay, so what if I drop two of them? Do I just get a stack of hidden blessing? Because that'd be way more efficient. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe I can only drop one then. Okay, so it only lets you drop one at a time, which means you could be here all fucking day. My god. Blood red moss clump. Dude, I have so many of these. We could be here all fucking day doing this. Divine blessings. Hidden blessing. Chirping stone. Let's see what this does. If it's the same kind of shit. Curse gems. Okay. Let's see what. I'm just going to do different ones. Let's see what the crooning stone does. Probably gives you different types of stuff, depending on which kind. Rotten pine resin. Okay. That just gave me some more resin. Leave this. Spyro the Dragon, Beast Makers, and all the levels in Beast Makers. Yeah. I can see that. Ooh, that one just gives you straight up souls. Not bad, not bad. What about a Warbling Stone? There's hella different stones. I didn't realize I'd be getting so many of them. Dung Pie! I don't want your stinky Dung Pie. Get out of here. Purring Stone. If I don't get a kitty, I'm going to be sad. Inferi Petal. I don't know what those are. Inferi Petal. Temporarily boost damage to unbed. Oh, these are these. Okay. Some of these boost damage items. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna do all these right now. This seems like something I should do off screen. Let's finish dropping off all these items and getting stuff. Five large Titanite shards. What the fuck? That's incredible. I want more of that, please. Titanite slab! Oh my god! I'm gonna do all those ones. Fuck that. I'm doing all these ones. Whistling stones are doing... I'm doing these. I know what I just said, but I'm doing these ones right now. Because that's... Items to do upgrades? I'm down. The faster I can do more upgrades for my weapons. I'm, I'm fucking down. I wish you could just drop all, but... I get why you can't. Because every time it's a random item... And apparently random amounts. Jesus. Crash Bandicoot 4 had at least one swamp level you liked. I still need to play Crash Bandicoot 4, man. Oh, and look who it is, guys. It's Undragon. Coming in hot with that raid, y'all. Coming in hot with that raid, y'all. Thanks for the raid, Dragon. Playing that Final Fantasy Tactic Advance today. I was there earlier. Good stuff. Um, I kind of want to see if I can defeat this Katana guy up here, too. Where's that dude at? I know he's over here somewhere. Where he at? There he is. Ready to fuck him up? Woo! Get fucked, homie! <laughs> I'm a little OP for him now. Just saying. Give me that Uchi Katana, ho. Hell yeah, and we get his armor and an ember. Not bad, not bad. Apparently that was a clip about the cutest ass ever. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy whooping that dude's ass with one hitter quitters. Don't mind me. But anyway, thank you for the raid once again, sir. Like I said, I was there a little bit for, you know, a tad bit of your stream. So I know what you was doing in that tactics advance. Kind of making me want to replay that game myself. I haven't played that game in many, many, many years. I do love it. Just not as much as the OG tactics. But it is a good game. So why do I look like a rave party splooged on me? Because they, the rave party did splooge on me, dude. I've been splooged on by an entire party. Nah, it's because there's an aesthetic dude up here. Where you can literally just change your aesthetics with different stuff. Like, I'll even show... I'll, 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 you know what? I'll even change my visual thing. My body aura. Right now, I think I'm using the... Wait, is this what I'm using? Maybe not some... What was it I was using? Body tint, body... Body emission? Yeah, prismatic stars, I think is the one I'm using. But you could do different stuff. Corrupted crystals. Yeah, see? It's kind of cool. 
white stars. This is basically the same. It's just with white instead of the prismatic. Now I'm looking all fucking glowy and shit. Looking savage. But yeah, welcome in from the Raid Pickle. How you doing today, sir? Welcome in, welcome in. You didn't like Crash 4 that much, Donko? That's okay. Not a lot of people did. I'm going to play it because I just... I'm, I'm a masochist and I play all the things, even if they're good or bad. Yo, it's Horus and the other homie. The one that actually talks. I didn't remember them being here right now, but there they are. Anyway, I wanted to talk to this fool too, because I want to see what kind of spells I can get right now. So I can get the Soul Spear using the Crystal Sage, which I'm actually kind of tempted to do. Eh, I probably should. I mean, I can always go fight the Crystal Sage and get another one, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's the interesting thing, is you can use your shit to get things, and then you can do it again. And that's what the most bestest part, because you can refight any boss. It's pretty sweet. Um, deep Ring. Periodically leave a wake of abyssal explosions. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and just get this, because I want it. And if I don't like it, well, oh well, I can do it again and beat another Crystal Sage. Jasper and Horus, is that their names? When FML does this mod, he should cover himself in dung. <laughs> he, he could. He could. Frog's here. He's just eating. Fair enough. Crash Bandicoot Warp is still your favorite in the series. You went into Crash 4 with the mindset... Sorry. With the mindset that you wasn't going to try completionist, but you enjoyed it more that way. I know a lot of people went for him. Yeah, doing 100% on any Crash game is a nightmare, to be fair. So I can understand why... You know, that might change people's opinion of the game just because the 100% is so freaking hard. Hey, Hunky, a few streams ago we wondered how Grape Nuts got their name. It's because they look like grape seeds. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. And also, Crash 2 is your favorite PS... Uh, is your favorite game of all time, Donko. Wow, that's high praise. I mean, Crash 2 is pretty good, no doubt. No doubt about it. Crash 2 is excellent, too. I know there's a lot of fans' favorites in the series. Uh, strangely, that was the only PS1 Crash game you didn't have growing up. Wow, that is weird. You have to say you like Crash 2 better than Crash 1. Well, that's because it's better. It's not that hard. That's not a that's not a striking opinion for Dragon, but it is pretty common to say that the second one is better than the first one. The first one is pretty difficult and a, I would say a little bit unpolished compared to the second and third one. Now I look like a badly made flashlight. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Um, anyway, do I have enough for a level up? I do. Let's do another Vitality. Get, let's make it an even 20, shall we?